our lesson for t- this morning is lesson 17. We're going to illustrate systems of linear equations in two variables. Illustrate, ibig sabihin, you describe, you define, you draw, you solve. So, system, malalaman nyo mamaya, linear, from the root word line, we can create a straight line. Nakapag-graph na tayo, right? Equation, from the root word equal sign, showing that the two sides are equal in value. And then, two variables, dalawang letter lang involved from letters A to Z. Pero ang gagamitin lang muna natin ngayon ay ang variables X and Y. Para yung X sa X-axis and then yung Y sa Y-axis. Now, let us have our objectives. Number one, you should define, illustrate, system of linear equations in two variables. Number two, you will tell whether the ordered pair is the solution to the system of linear equation. And number three, you can now solve the system of linear equations in two variables. Now, what is the sis- uh, meaning of system of linear equations in two variables? So, naturo ko na sa inyo kung ano yung linear equation. Pag sinabing linear equation, ito yung highest degree ay 1. So, ngayon, paano naman kapag system ang tawag, system of linear equation? Ito ay more than one equation naman. Yun lang. So, ito, two or more equations with the same variable. So, we have here our example. Dito, meron lang tayong dalawang equation. So, pair sila, kaya system na ang tawag dito. Kasi more than one. Ibig sabihin, more than one din ang line natin sa graph. Ginawa kong A sub 1, B sub 1, at C sub 1 kasi ito yung mga coefficient sa ating unang equation. And then, sa pangalawa naman, A sub 2, B sub 2, and C sub 2 kasi ito yung mga coefficient ng ating second equation. And then, yung x and y natin, dahil pareho lang naman sila ng variable, kaya hindi naman kailangan ibahin mo yung label nila. So, remember that a and b should not be equal to zero. So, dapat at least yung isa nag exist Meron kang a sub 1x or meron kang b y. As, dapat at least may isang nag exist So, next naman tayo ay The solution of a system in X and Y is any ordered pair X and Y that satisfies each of the equations in the system The solution to a system is the intersection of the graphs of the equation So, alam nyo naman na ang ordered pair natin Unang number ay for X axis and then yung pangalawang number ay for Y axis Paano ba natin masasabi na ang ordered pair ay isang solution? Ganito yan So, we have different kinds of graph Tatlo po ito Ito ay tinatawag na consistent and independent. Kung mapapansin nyo, isang beses lang sila nagkita. So, ito yung ating blue line, ito yung ating pink line, isang beses lang sila sa isang point lang sila nag-meet. So, that's why we have one solution kasi isa lang ang point of intersection nila. So, ano nga ba tong solution na to? Siyempre, pangalanan na rin natin itong point na to. Saan siya located? Um, ito ay ordered pair. Ha? Ang location ay ordered pair. Una, X. So, ito ang ating point. Saan siya nakatapat sa ating x-axis? Siya ay nakatapat sa 1. So, your x is 1. And then, saan siya nakatapat sa y-axis? This is negative 1. So, it means point 1 and negative 1 is the solution in our equation. Kasi, nag-intersect sila dito sa ating ordered pair na ito. So, the lines are intersecting. Ganyan na itsura pag intersecting. Inconsistent. So, no solution lines are parallel. So, ito yung uh, itsura ng line. Kahit i-adjust mo yan, i-extend mo tong arrow, di ba? Arrow head yan, i-extend yan. To infinity, kahit i-extend mo yan, hindi yan mag-i-intersect. Hindi kayo mag meet Kaya, inconsistent. No solution kasi wala silang point of intersection. Ang itsura ng ating lines ay parallel. Next, consistent and dependent. Dependent. Nakadepende kayo sa isa't isa. Pareho kayo ng landas. Infinitely many solution kasi kung mapapansin nyo, madaming point of intersection sila. Lahat kasing yan, mga point na nandyan, dyan sila magkakapareho. Okay? Ka- hindi ka to na una, isang beses lang sila nagkapareho ng location. Ito, buong way nila, pare-pareho sila ng point of intersection. Kaya infinitely many solution kasi maraming ordered pair silang nag-meet. Lines are coinciding magkapato. So again, consistent and dependent. Sila ay nakadepende sa isa't isa. Now, given a system of linear equations and an ordered pair, determine whether the ordered pair is a solution. So, tingnan daw natin kung yung ordered pair na iyon ay solution sa ating system of equation. Kapag doon sila talaga nag-intersect dun sa point na yon. Then, number one, what are we going to do? Substitute the ordered pair into each equation in the system. Number two, determine whether true statements result from the substitution in both equations. If so, the ordered pair is a solution. Ma'am, ano ang haba? So, syempre, mag na tayo. So, this is our given. Determine whether point one two is a solution of the system of linear equations. 4x minus y equals 2 and 10x minus 3y equals 4. Kaya, 
tinatawag na system kasi more than one ang equation natin. Meron tayong magka-partner dito, dalawang line. Dalawang line niya pag pinlat natin sa ating Cartesian plane. Sabi daw, ito kayong point 1 to na to, magi-intersect kaya itong dalawa. Dadaan na kaya nitong dalawang ito ang point 1 to. So let's find out. Ganito ang gawin natin. Yung una equation muna tayo mag-solve. Unang equation ay itong 4x minus y equals 2. And then, ano ulit yung ating i-check na ordered pair? Itong point 1, 2. Let's check if it is a solution to our equation. So, anong una nating um, step dito? Substitute daw natin ordered pair sa ating equation. So, tandaan ang ating ordered pair ay pair of x and y. So, ibig sabihin, substitute mo yung value ni x na 1 dito sa ating equation. Substitute mo ng 2 yung value ni y. So, now let us solve. O copy mo muna itong 4. Multiply to the value of x. Ano yung value ng x? 1. So, times 1. Minus y. Ano yung y natin? 2. Kaya, minus 2. And then, bring down equals 2. Now, let's find out if 4 times 1 minus 2 is equal to 2. So, we don't know yet. Kaya, meron tayo question dito. Question mark. 4 times 1 is 4. Bring down minus 2. Is it equal to 2? 4 minus 2 ba equal to 2? So, the answer A is yes. 4 minus 2 is 2. And yes, it is equal to 2. Kapag nag-equal yung dalawang side, so, ibig sabihin, itong point 1, 2 ay nadaanan ng ating line na to. But, then again, dalawa ang ating equation. We have to solve also on the second equation. So, let us use 10x minus 3y equals 4. Ano ulit yung ating point na i-check kung solution? Yung point 1, 2. Again and again, this is a pair of x and y. Let us substitute the value of x and y in our equation. That is our step 1. So, ngayon, bring down 10. Multiply to the value of x. Ano x natin? 1. So, times 1. Minus 3. Multiply to the value of y, which is 2. So, times 2. Bring down equals 4. So, let, we don't know yet. That's why we have question mark. 10 times 1 is 10. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Is it equal to 4? Yes. Yeah. So, 10 minus 6 is 4 and it is equal to 4. So, since pareho sila nag-equal, ang ating conclusion dyan ay, therefore, point 1, 2 is a solution to the system of linear equations 4x minus y equals 2 and 10x minus 3y equals 4. So, kapag ko halimbawa um, ito ay hindi naman nag-equal, halimbawa ang sagot mo dito ay 3. So, syempre, magiging not equal ganito. So, 3 is not equal to 4. So, ilalagay mo naman dito, therefore, point 1, 2 is not a solution. Ganun naman. Okay? Let us solve the missing value of y. Ibang activity naman to. We have our system again. What if the value of x is negative 2? What will be the value of y? What if the x is 0? What will be the value of y? And what if the value of x is 2? What will be the value of y? So, tatlong value na x natin, kaya tatlong y din ang kukunin natin. So, let us use our first equation. Meron tayo x plus y equals 6. So, una nating value ni x ay negative 2. Palitan mo si x ng negative 2. So, gawin mo itong negative 2. And then, bring down plus y equals 6. After that, let us combine the like terms. Ano like terms dyan? Isa lang ang variable y. Pero dalawa ang constant natin. Pwede natin silang pagsamahin. So, let us transpose negative 2 on the right side. Dahil ito ay nag-jump over our equal sign, it will change sign. From negative 2, magiging positive 2 yan. So, ang natira sa left side ay si y. And then, sa right side nga ay si 6. And then, ito ay na-transpose na natin sa ating right side from negative 2, naging positive 2 siya. So, let us solve 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. So, ngayon, kung ang x mo daw ay negative 2, ang y mo daw ay 8. So, you will write it here inside the table. Let us have the second value of x. What if x is 0? So, una muna natin tong first equation natin, ha? Ayan. So, palitan natin yung value ni x na 0. Ayan. So, 0 na to. Then, bring down y equals 6. So, syempre, 0 na naman yun. Wala na naman yung value. Ano natira? Yung y equals 6. Ayan na. Nakuha agad natin. So, if x mo daw ay 0, ang value ni y ay 6. You will write it here on the second row. Next na Naman natin ay what if x is 2. So, ito muna tayo lagi, yung first linear equation. Palitan mo naman itong x ng 2. Ayan, 2 plus y equals 6. And then, what are we going to do? Combine the like term. Iisa lang naman ang y natin, pero dalawa ang ating constant. So, we can combine them. Transpose 2 on the right side. From positive 2, it jump over our equal sign. It will become negative. So, natira si y sa left side. 
Ayan. And then, equal 6 sa right side. Itong 2, tinranspose natin dito sa right side, it will become negative. So, 6 minus 2 ay 4. So, that will be your value for y. So, ngayon, kunin naman natin yung for our second equation. Ito pa rin yung ating given, ha? So, let us have the second equation. Substitute mo ulit yung value na x na negative 2 dito sa ating um, x. So, ito yan. 3 times the value of x is negative 2, then bring down. O, let us multiply. Remove the grouping symbol. 3 times negative 2 ay negative 6. And then, bring down mo to. And then, combine the like terms. Isa lang ang variable y, pero dalawa ang constant natin. Okay. Ma'am, pati ba yung negative 2? Hindi. Kasi yan yung may kasamang y. So, ang constant lang dyan ay yung number lang talaga. Yung walang katabing variable. So, yun lang yung pwede mong pagsamahin yung like terms. So, negative 6 transpose to the other side. It jump over the equal sign from negative magiging positive yan. So, bring down negative 2y and then equal 6. Ito ay magiging positive 6. So, let us solve 6 plus 6, 12. So, bring down negative 2y equals 12. Ang kinukuha lang natin ay value ni y. Pero ito ay may negative 2 pa sa tabi ng y. So, we have to remove negative 2 beside y. Paano? Use division. Ginagamit ang division kapag lahat ng given or term ay whole number. Wala namang fraction dito. So, hindi ka magmumultiply. You divide. Divide them all by negative 2. Kung ano kasi, dinivide mo sa isa, yun din dapat ay didivide mo sa lahat. So, since kailangan natin tanggalin si negative 2, kailangan mo yun siya i-divide sa sarili niya para maging 1, para maging invisible. So, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. Bring down y. Equals 12 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 6. And that is our first answer. Let us have x equal to 0. Kunin ulit yung second equation natin. Palitan mo naman si x ng 0. Ayan. 3 times the value of x which is 0. Then bring down. Automatic 3 times 0 is 0. So bring down negative 2y equals 6. And then remove the coefficient beside y by dividing both sides by negative 2. So syempre, cancel na yan. Bring down y. Equals 6 divided by negative 2 different sign ay negative and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Kaya negative 3. That will be your second value of y. Next, what if your x is 2? So copy again the second equation. Substitute 2 in our x. 3 times 2 minus 2y equals 6. So what is 3 times 2? The answer is 6. And then bring down. Combine the like terms. Dalawa ang ating constant. Transpose 6 on the right side. From positive naging negative. Okay? Because it jump over our equal sign. So, ito siya, negative 2y, then ito equal 6. Ito ay naging negative 6. 6 minus 6, automatic ito ay 0. So, bring down mo muna to si negative 2y, then equal to 0. Tanggalin ang negative 2 beside y, divide both sides by negative 2. And then, cancel, cancel ulit ya. Negative 2 and negative 2 kasi, divide mo yon 1 na yon. So, bring down y. Siyempre, invisible yung 1 sa tabi ng variable. Then, 0 divided by negative 2, 0 divided by the any number is equal to 0 pa rin. So, your answer here is 0. Ayan. So, let us have our summary. Ito na po yung nakuha natin kanina. Ito sa ating um, unang linear equation, ito nakuha. And then, ito yung pangalawa. That is our table of values. That ends our lesson 17. That's it. Thank you for watching.